My second husband was an American. We traveled all over the world, and everywhere we went, he would say to people, I am an American. I am an American. They finally shot him in one of those eastern countries. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I was, too. He was such a nice man while he lasted. Is he yours, Moira? Oh, I'm lying. Oh. Well, Carol. <laughs> he just drinks and drinks and nothing happens. At least he hasn't burst into tears. Well, I keep up the good work. Amen. Oh, That's sheer boulder dash. I never heard so much nonsense in my life. Do you mean to tell me this whole damn war was an accident? No. It wasn't an accident. I didn't say that. It was carefully planned, down to the tiniest mechanical and emotional detail. But it was a mistake. It was a butte. In the end, somehow granted the time for examination, we shall find that our so-called civilization was gloriously destroyed by a handful of vacuum tubes and transistors. Probably 40. Ah, there you are, Julian, there you are. Now we know where the blame lies, don't we? Oh, no, you don't. No, no. No, maybe, maybe we were the uh, blind mechanics of disaster, but you don't pin the guilt on the scientists that easily. You might as well pin it on motherhood. Well, it should be pinned on somebody. And you scientists are the likely ones as far as I can see. You built the bomb. You experimented with it, tested it, and exploded it. Now, just a moment, more. Thanks to you, chaps, a moment is about all we have. Every man who ever worked on this thing told you what would happen. The scientists signed petition after petition. Julian, please. But nobody listened. There was a choice. It was build the bombs and use them, or risk that the United States, the Soviet Union, and the rest of us would find some way to go on living. Huh. That's wishful thinking, if ever I heard it. I'm not against wishful thinking, not now. Look, they pushed us too far. They didn't think we'd fight no matter what they did. And they were wrong. We fought, we expunged them. We didn't do such a bad job on ourselves. With the interesting result that the background level of radiation in this very room is nine times what it was a year ago. Don't you know that? Nine times. We're all doomed, you know. The whole silly, drunken, pathetic lot of us. Doomed by the air we're about to breathe. We haven't got a chance. I won't have it, Julian. I won't. There is hope. There has to be hope. There's always hope. We just can't go on like this. We can't. We... we... I shouldn't drink, you know. I inevitably say something brilliant. Sorry. Looking for a whole chapter to yourself? I doubt anyone could put it all together. Well, if they do, I'd like to read it. I was in it for a while. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know who started it. I wish somebody had stopped it. You know, the people on Mars probably saw what happened. When things cool off, they'll probably come down and take over. How about that, Professor? Any chance? They might have the means of paying our corpse a visit. <laughs> I shouldn't advise it for a long time. Who do you think started it? The war? Albert Einstein. <laughs> You're kidding. Do you really want to know who I think started the war? Yeah. Why? Well, you're an egghead, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> who would ever have believed that human beings would be stupid enough to blow themselves off the face of the earth? I don't believe it even now. Well, we didn't want a war. We didn't start it. Come on now, how did it start? The trouble with you is you want a simple answer. There isn't any. 
The war started when people accepted the idiotic principle that peace could be maintained by arranging to defend themselves with weapons they couldn't possibly use without committing suicide. Everybody had an atomic bomb and counter bombs and counter counter bombs. The devices outgrew us. We couldn't control them. I know. I helped build them. God help me. Somewhere, some poor bloke probably looked at a radar screen and thought he saw something. knew that if he hesitated one thousandth of a second, his own country would be wiped off the map, so... So he pushed a button. And... and... the world went... crazy. And... and... with him. Maybe we shouldn't ask him any more questions. 